Well, hello there once again, motorsport fans, and uh, as always, you're very welcome to this video. Now, as you can see here, I've got a start gate. Now, I've been playing with this for about three months, and I think I've got something now that um, I can show you guys that works and that is relatively cheap uh, to make yourself. And uh, most of all, not very complicated, not as complicated as it looks. Now, over here, right here, is what I've got this is a clone, basically, or a prototype that I was using at the beginning of what, I set, what I've permanently got set up here. So this is a central locking kit from a car. Now I purchased this solenoid, which is a, which is a part of the central locking kit, um, which would normally open and close your door locks. I purchased the coal kit with a remote for uh, for about $27, $28 off eBay. Very cheap. Now you've just got some steel, got a little bit of conduit there, um, and that's all it is. So I'm going to show you what's inside this box, but don't be alarmed. It's, it's, quite, it's quite basic here, what, um, what we've got in here. So if you come forward a bit, what we've got, we've got the controller, okay? Now these things I worked out um, run off 12 or 24 volts. Now what I've done is I've actually wired it to a Makita battery or use a Milwaukee or whatever adapter you can get off eBay as well. All right, and it's quite basic. All, we, all we've got is the green and blue wire out here. So there's an instructions to come with them and it will show you uh, which wires to go to certain doors, but I'll run through that later. And then you've got the power supply here, which goes straight onto the Makita adapter and then you've got the antenna out the bottom, okay? So basically, all you've really got to the solenoid, all you have got, is the blue and green wire, right? That's all it is. It's actually very basic. There's a lot of cables here that are unused. Look at all that, look at that loom, right? Massive amount of unused cables. You don't need them. It looks a lot more tricky than actually what it is. You don't need an enclosure like this. I've got a photo, I'm gonna put a, put a photo down below right now of the prototype I had and um, how I was just in it was just in the PVC box, a basic little junction box, very basic setup, and it did the job. I had a star picket in the ground or a stake in the ground. Obviously, I've concreted this in properly and made it more permanent, but you don't need to do all this. All right. So I'll close that up. So the, if you come down here, what we've got, you've got this pin. So that goes on the end of the solenoid here, and the conduit is just to keep it from slipping out, right? But the pin just goes in and out like this, as so, right? Just like that. So I'm just going to show you with the remote, like that. Lock, unlock. Very, very basic, right? So the pin actually came out further, and I just grinded it off. So I'm mounting it all down, and then I've got a bit of half-inch bar here, or 12 mil bar, and all I do is rest on there like that. That's all it is. So you've got a physical, a physical stop there, and that's all it is. So we've got a couple of L brackets that I've dyna bolted to the slab. To be honest with you, the hardest part of all this was pouring the slab. A lot of man hours, about 20, 25 bags of concrete went into that. Um, and a good, a good afternoon, not good for the back. But basically, <laughs> that was the hardest part of it. Bending the bar, you'll find the, the half inch bar bends really easily. And what I did is get it on, get it, get get the main frame in there, mount it, and then muck around with this part to get it get it right. Okay, you, you're better off um, mounting this first and then bending this part here to get it in the right right scenario and the right angle you want on there. That's it, just like that. And it's worked quite well. I've used it for a few days now, and it's working really well. Um, there's not much more else to cover. I've, I'll uh, run through more about the solenoid and how to wire it now, but basically uh, that's it and it's worked out really well for us. So this is the central locking kit I got off eBay for $27. I'll put a link down below. Um, I'm an electrician by trade and I was looking at trying to source a 12 volt solenoid uh, cheaply and I couldn't really find one for cheap. You get four solenoids in this box and it's $27, unbelievable. So. You'll get four, but one will be a master, okay? So we've got one, two, three, four solenoids. You're only gonna use one, and no point in using the master. You don't need to use the master. It's gonna overcomplicate things. So it's gonna use a slave, okay? Now you get this massive loom of cable. This is your control box, okay? So your loom just plugs in the control box like that. You get two remotes, it's got batteries in them, and this is your antenna. So however you mount this, you want the antenna outside, because that's obviously the receiving for the uh, remotes, and you need that to have reception, so to speak, to be able to pick up the frequency. Okay, and then you've got this massive loomer cable, right? You'll have a red cable which has got a fuse on it, 10 amp fuse. You want to grab him, and you also want the black one. So the black one will go here, so that'll go to, go to another point here, but basically you want the, black, but they, uh, the red and the black, and that'll go to your 12 volt source. Now, um, 
I'll, these things from the listing I saw on eBay are rated at 12 to 24 volts. I was trying to work out whether it was 12 or 24, or you could work on 12 or 24 or 12 to 24. Um, I was originally, originally running it off a 12 volt car battery, um, then bit the bullet uh, without getting the, getting the answer I wanted or finding the answer, ran it off a 12, uh, sorry, an 18 volt Makita battery adapter, and it's working fine, running at 18, 19, 17 volts, okay? So anyway, that's your negative, that's your positive, very, very self-explanatory. Then you've got your solenoid. Just grab, uh, grab a, a blue and a green loom off that massive loom, and just banana clips, they just click in, extremely straightforward. And with that, if you had a power on it, you'd be able to hit the remote, in, out, in, out, right? So just to be clear, I'll show you how mechanically how we're working here. That's the same bar that I showed you before out there. It just feeds in. And there you go. So my conduit's fed on here, like that. And we just go like that, in, out, in, out, every time you hit the remote, all right? So I, let it, I left it the long length as I was out there um, working out what, what's going on. I cut it to the correct length uh, once it was all mounted up. So that's it, that, that's all the technical side of it. Extremely self-explanatory. Get one of these kits, you'll have three spare, spare solenoids, um, spare remote, I've already lost mine, believe it or not. And yeah, that's it. So I suggest you do it. Takes a bit of time, but you'll get a lot of satisfaction out of it. And when you see it all working, um, that's, that's what you're doing it for, isn't it? All right, catch you on the next one, guys. All the best.